Welcome back to Cafe Racer Garage. I am Dan and I'm currently working on some merchandise as you can see from my shirt at the moment. Uh, the things that I'm going to be having as merchandise is stuff that I would physically want. Uh, I'm not going to be releasing anything else but things that I would want to wear or use. So you can be sure they're going to be cool things. Anyway, uh, if you do have any ideas of merchandise, I am open for ideas. I'm going through that process at the moment. I've got a few more products to arrive uh, to just go through the quality and make sure they're good. So if you have any ideas, shoot them across, leave me a comment. Um, but more importantly, this video, I want to give a huge shout out to a guy who's a huge inspiration to a lot of bike builders uh, on YouTube. So a huge shout out to Taylor from Classic Octane. He may not need much of an introduction due to the fact that he's been doing this for a little bit of time. He's worked on a few Hondas. Uh, he's currently working on a Yamaha Scrambler. Uh, he's done a really cool Triumph. If you haven't checked out his channel, I suggest you do. I bought this uh, t-shirt from him months ago when I was in the beginning stages of building my channel uh, just because I saw what he was doing and I thought, man, this guy's doing a really cool job and I wanted to support him. I didn't really need another t-shirt. I wanted to support him, so I grabbed it and I ended up getting something cool for myself. So it worked out win-win for everybody. So I'll leave a link to his channel in the description below. So go and click it and check it out. But for now, let's get into the video. So now that I've got that seat pretty much roughly in the shape that I want, I could make a few more changes, but I don't want to get too far ahead of myself because I need to make some mountings for this seat. I need to make it so that it actually hooks in at the front and locks in at the back. So with this being a scrambler, obviously this is going to be going somewhere up under here when I chop it down to the right size and everything. So that's going to leave a fair bit of gap from here up until the seat starts so what i've got to do is come up with a way that i can lock this back end of the seat down um, but having it so it's accessible from underneath or somehow still haven't figured that out i will figure it out but i am open to suggestions so if anyone has any ideas on how to do that leave me a comment or even leave me a link to something that you've seen so this is a relatively shorter video purely because i do want to spend a little bit of time looking at this seat uh, and assessing how i want it to look uh, by the time it's finished. If I rush into the shape then I could potentially uh, regret it later on and then want to change it. So with any project it's good to just stop what you're doing and stand back and just look at it and that's exactly what I'm doing. I've decided I'm going to sleep on this, I'm going to give it some time before I start carving it any further and also ask your opinion. What do you think of that seat? If you can picture that in like a brown leather or a brown vinyl sorry, uh, what do you think that will look like? Would you prefer to see it fatter or thinner or 
whatever input you have, I'm happy to hear your suggestions. So uh, fire away, leave me some comments and let me know your thoughts on it. Uh, at the moment, it's going to stay like that for a little bit till I can figure out exactly whether I need to make any more changes or whether I'm happy with it as is. So rather than ending the video there, uh, it is a beautiful day today, so I do want to take uh, the bike out for a spin. Uh, and I'll take you guys with me so I can chat to you about a few more things. So I'll grab my GoPro, strap it to my helmet, and uh, let's go for a ride. This is a good little spot to get out of the garage, uh, take my GoPro Hero 7 that I got for Christmas um, out and give it a test because they're calling this uh, the gimbal killer just purely because it has such amazing stabilization. So really wanted to try it out finally on the bike or attached to the helmet should I say. So yeah, hopefully it comes out good. I spent a lot of time in the garage as you probably already know and don't nearly get my bike out as much as I want to. So. Today I wanted to explain a few things, actually tell you a little bit of a story. A story as to how I begun this whole YouTube thing. And my Patreons already know this story. I already mentioned it to them in another video, an actual video just for them. So how it begun was, I don't know how many of you guys out there watch uh, or have watched in the past, uh, that TV series called The Walking Dead. And if you do, leave me a comment if you actually enjoyed it or you used to enjoy it or you have watched it, leave me a comment. I'd like to know but the reason I'm mentioning that is because uh, that's how it pretty much begun for me so if you are familiar with the TV series you would know of a guy named Daryl Dixon who's one of the main characters his actual name is Norman Reedus he actually rides a CB 750 uh, in the TV series and it's done up like a brat bike now I was watching this TV series and I was thinking, you know what, I really want to build one of those things. They are awesome. So I went on to Pinterest uh, and I kept searching different types of brat style bikes and I kept coming back to that one. That was the one that had my interest. The CB750 F2, uh, the 1992-93 model, just had something about it that it just attracted me and I was like, I want to build one. So I decided what I'd do is I would see if I could find one uh, relatively cheap at a wreckers or a salvage yard or even someone who's selling one that's complete that you know I could just start tinkering with. So I was hunting around to see if I could find one cheap enough and there were quite a few for sale but they were just like complete they were nice and I didn't really want to pull one of those apart so I just searched and searched and then eventually I found one from a wreckers which is the one you see now. Uh, that one was pretty much complete but not running and it was about nine hours away from me so I just decided to go ahead with it, give it a go. Hey, what's the worst can happen? I'll have to rebuild the engine which I was going to do anyway uh, or at least partially rebuild it. And if you've seen some of my first videos where I'm actually building the hydraulic lift table you will see that that bike is actually turning up whilst I'm still building the hydraulic lift table. Uh, how the YouTube channel actually begun was I decided that I wanted to film the process of me building this hydraulic lift table because I might be able to help someone else who's doing the same thing and maybe they could, you know, copy my procedure and make it a lot easier than, you know, trying to follow instructions or something. So I thought I'll film the entire process. Whoever wants it, they can, they can have it. I'll show them how I've done it. So what you see now is something that started as I wanted that same style of bike, but through the process, my creativity kicked in and I wanted to do my own thing. I really had so many different ideas in my head that I wanted to test and try and show the process of actually how I do this. Because the channel was like, it started out as me showing how to build a hydraulic lift table. I've got so many hits, so many views. I was thinking I had something here that I could really just keep going with. So then I started building the bike and started sharing the process of me building the bike. And, and here I am. I'm not sure exactly when I'm going to be releasing this video, but it's somewhere in the vicinity of uh, 28,000 subscribers in like not long really when you think about it. So that's how it all pretty much begun for me. I started watching TV series, realized that I really like something, I realized that I could do it and then I started doing it and then I started to share it and then the sharing process become bigger and bigger 
to where it is now and just having a YouTube channel which I absolutely love sharing everything that I do and I get so many amazing comments and such amazing support and speaking of support uh, I want to give a huge shout out to um, some of my patrons that have just recently come through so a huge shout out to Heath, Paul, <coughs> Jordan, Rob, also Tim and Luke so there's two more patrons that I want to thank uh, and I left these guys to the end because their names are probably the hardest ones for me to pronounce and I apologize if I get this incorrect but Bjorn, thank you so much and also Gediminas. I've just done a little bit of a giveaway on my Patreon page uh, just to say thank you to those guys for contributing to helping me build this channel. I'm really blown away by the amount of uh, support I get from you guys and just the fact that you guys want to see more content from me so thank you so much for that support. I really appreciate it.